Chris Dunganier, and I want to take you through this 19-point checklist that's perfect for you if you're a coach, a consultant, a personal trainer, or a healer, or someone who has a service, and they want to get it out there and actually to pull in leads and make sales using Facebook. Look, Facebook is a changing platform. It's changing again and again and again. When I first started marketing on it in 2010, completely different to where it is now. However, these 19 steps are going to show you how to always win no matter what happens and what changes. And there's a reason to that. And let me explain. The first place is you must find your hidden market. Out of your market, your hidden market is the most profitable position for you. You do this by going on to step number two, which is really getting your ideal client by doing market research. We talk about interviewing your market here and explain to you how to actually interview and create your perfect target audience. Look, most people don't have this sorted. To make a thousand, to make a million dollars, you only need a thousand people that pay you $83 a month. Most of us are targeting way more than a few thousand people. But if you thought about that, to make a million, and you might not even want to make a million, if you charge, you know, $170 a month, you need 500 people in total to get on that program. When we start to think about that, we realize just how, how big our targeting is. The easiest way to waste money on Facebook and on any platform is to go broad. When you go specific, you're going to be seen as a micro celebrity to that particular part of the market. Now, the biggest problem that I had and you probably have is actually finding what your market is. You must get a consultant. The only way to be able to see into your genius is someone else has to see into it. You can't see it yourself. It's like fish trying to see water. You can't see it. So anyway, the, the next steps are step four and five. We talk about clarifying what people want to move towards and what they want to move away from in both present and future themes. So let me put this really clearly. You must know what someone's frustration is, what they clearly want to get rid of now, and what they fear, what they don't want to have in the future. You must also know what they want right now and then what they aspire to be in the future. Once you know these, you'll get really clear motivation. So that's that step. The next step is to really get that demographic clarity. When you find the interest that your audience has that other people don't have, everything changes. And you want to find that one thing that's super unique to your audience. I see a lot of coaches that are like, oh, I'm just going to choose an audience that likes Tony Robbins or Grant Cardone or Brandon Bouchard or Marianne Williamson. Well, that's great, but every one of your competitors are thinking that too. You've got to find that unique demographic. Again, this is when we work with somebody to make this, this come alive, that's one of the things we look at. Because if you get the targeting right, and you can find a little vein of gold on Facebook, everything changes. And you're talking about like 50, 60, 70 thousand dollar days that you get in new sales when you get that right. So the, the next thing is to actually create a target avatar document. This is a one pager that you can share with your marketing team, with your client, with your your uh, your team that are out there talking to your clients. And it's really saying this is our target. This is their fear, this is their frustration, and this is what you need every time you write a blog or you do a video or anything else. The next thing is to really understand that you're selling a transformation. Step eight is understand your transformation. If you are still trying to um, sell a product and not a transformation, you, you, you're you gonna be in a tough place. And so one thing that we do, and we how we transform you and how we transform people just like you, is you know we, we say, look, we want you to go from chasing people to being chased, from feast and famine to fully booked out. And that's a transformation we want to have is so that you have a full client tap. The next thing is step nine talks about intellectual property. Now, I'm really, this is a really important thing. If you're in a service based business, you need to get your own IP. You need to build your own systems, your own process, your own charts, your own things that you've figured out and understood. This is the only way that you're going to be seen as an authority. The word authority, the first part of that word is author. You need to be seen as an authority, which is going to allow you to attract more people because they see the way that you're thinking. You are an authority. People always want to work with the people that are the most cutting edge, and you can be the most cutting edge by authoring your own content. Next step 10, we talk about a no-brainer offer. And by the way, 
we go through all of this, you know, if you're interested to have a one-on-one -on -one session with us, we'll go through all these steps and now a call with you and really help you clarify uh, how you're going to pull in leads and how you're going to break through to the next level in your business and what you need to do to just have a client tap. So step 10 is huge. Huge. Having offers that people actually want to buy, that's a no-brainer, is so important for building a relationship and then also for turning uh advertising spend into profit really fast. So making sure your offers are on point is critical. The next step 11 is your defining moment story. We want to know your story. You know, like, for example, my story about being a coach, becoming sold out, traveling the world, building the companies, doing the things that I did, getting in the movie with Tony Robbins and the Dalai Lama, writing the books, you know, the story that you've likely already heard of mine. You need to have that defining moment story so that people understand that, you know, you're, you're you. So for me, I'm a conscious business owner that wants to help people that have a massive, massive heart that want to change the planet because that's what I want to do. That's all I'm interested in helping. So you need to be able to do that. Step 12 talks about your bait. What's your lead magnet? What's the bait that your client finds irresistible? What is that? Let's get clarity on that. The next thing, step 13, is your 24-hour salesperson. So what is that video or that process or that article that's out there building relationships and doing all the selling for you? If you're like me, you don't like cold calling. If you're like me, you want to build a relationship first and talk to warm prospects. And so if you're like me, you want to have someone out there doing the work for you. That's like this video. It's getting you to understand what I can do for you, which is to build out your business and especially help you get as many leads using Facebook. The next thing is groom your social media. If you look at your social media and how you look, you need to be seen as an expert. You need to have the right pages, you need to be on all the platforms, and it needs to be branded right across. That's where we go into the next thing, is now we're ready to start driving the online traffic at step 15. Most people try to do it at step one. I'm gonna drive traffic. They haven't done all of these steps. So step 15 is we start driving the online traffic. Now, step 16 is we talk about partnerships. If you wanna get leads fast, here's the, the fastest path creating partnerships with other people in your industry. Most people skip this step. They don't want to create the partnerships. They just want to pay for it. Or just they, they don't want to look at that. But there is a huge source of traffic for both you and your partner if you understand how to do it. It's one of the biggest components that I'll put in place for every single coach, consultant, healer, personal trainer. The next, you must learn how to do a 10-minute call that distinguishes your prospect whether or not they're ready to buy or whether they're a time waster. You must have that 10-minute call in place. That leads to what we call a strategy session. By the way, if you want to have a full strategy session, you're going to have to spend 10 minutes with one of my team first so I know that you're not a time waster. If you want to do that, you can book the call somewhere on this page or you'll get it via email. But you have to have that 10-minute call so that I know you're worth me investing 30 minutes into and that you're somebody that we really can help and you're the right person. That's step 18. Step number 19 to make sure that you get all of this right, is I want to give you a full demonstration of this. So if you want to get the full demonstration, check your email. Because one thing that I know, and this is the 19-step checklist, is sometimes you need to see the whole thing in action. Check your email, look out for the training on me taking you through the whole thing, the full leads machine. It takes about an hour, and I can show you through the whole thing. Or if you want to skip that and just get straight on a call, let me know. I really hope that you enjoyed this. I hope that you've got this checklist and it's downloaded. And I look forward to building a relationship with you. And maybe at some point, I get to help you to grow your business. And just remember, your business is the most important thing. It's the thing that's going to help your family. It's the thing that you're going to be able to change the world with. And it also can be the source of some of your biggest frustration. Let's make sure that cash isn't a problem and start bringing leads into your business today. My name is Chris Duncan, and I'm so excited that I got to spend some time with you. Thanks for watching.